Well, hey guys, welcome back to Films 128 channel. Another eBay camera, An Argus C4. This one has a feature that I've never seen before and I think I'm going to absolutely love it. And I really, using it just in testing the camera, this wheel up here by your trigger, by your winding, to be able to adjust the focus, that's great. That is in such a great, instead of doing this, to just be able to adjust it real easy up there like that, that is fantastic. I, I haven't really used it yet, but I'm, I have a feeling that this is gonna be something that, that I question why it's not on every camera that ever existed. Cause it's just awesome to be able to just put your finger from the trigger. That, oh, little adjustment. There we go. Oh, a little more adjustment. You know, it's perfect. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love it. But we'll find out. I haven't actually shot with the camera. It's a fixed 50 millimeter lens. It's going to go from f2.8 up to 22. Shutter speeds are 300, 100, 50, 25, 10, and bulb. And I uh, had a little trouble with the shutter sticking when I first got it. You could see the shutter open and slowly close. And I don't know how to fix that really. Um, so I did something that did fix it, and I think probably camera enthusiasts are gonna reach through the screen and strangle me for it but I just took a little bit of WD-40 and spritzed it in there and it works so <laughs> probably not what you're supposed to do um, but 70 year old camera and I'm not gonna fix I'm not gonna you know pay for it to be repaired because I only spent like under $30 on it on eBay anyway don't know if it's worth anything yet so you know to me so just trying to figure out how can I make this uh, shutter open and close correctly a little tiny spritz of WD-40 on the shutter itself which again I don't know you're supposed to do that and then on the gears in the area and BAM it's firing like perfect so you know if it works so but this is its first outing uh, no light meter at all and we're using 400 speed Arista EDU. So I'll use the phone light meter, but generally it's a nice sunny day, so I shouldn't have to play with it too much. Should be able to just keep it at a sunny 16 type of thing. And uh, let's hope for the best. Hopefully, whoa, hopefully you can hear me over the water, but so I like the wheel up here to focus, but the only thing is with this range finder type system is, I don't know what's going on. The, put the camera down so I can show you with my hands. The ghost image, as I call it, that you align comes together and then slingshots apart again as you, like, once you hit a certain focal length, get a certain distance, it comes together perfectly and then all of a sudden goes back apart the further you go with the focus. So it's like, it's like once I hit about 15 feet away, then everything just separates and I can't really tell 
what's in focus and what's not. So I'm not sure if I just don't know how to use it correctly, what's probably it. Or if something is just not working right, I don't know. But, but yeah, it's kind of making it difficult because it's like, it's like it's almost in focus, almost in focus, and then as you're getting perfectly there, all of a sudden the images just separate. And it's like, well, I was getting close to focus. Why did it just go completely out of whack? I don't know. I don't know. Quick update on how it's going. I am struggling with this camera. If anything ends up in focus, I think it's gonna be a small miracle. Wow. I don't get it. It's like it gets closer and closer to being in focus, and as soon as it's about to be perfect crisp focus, it slingshots back the other way. What's going on? What am I missing here? Hmm. So what happened? What happened to the... The hope was high with this little wheel. Again, like I said right in the beginning of the whole video, to me, instead of doing this when you're focusing, to be able to keep your hands on both sides and just do this little, this little motion with your finger, and then adjust that wheel, and then your finger's back on the trigger, I would think that would be something that would have caught on. I showed you most of the shots that actually came out. There were some, let me bring them up full screen. There were some after I had gotten back and just tried to finish the roll and really just trying to like measure and go by, okay, this is how many feet it's supposed to be. Let's try to get that right. It's obviously not right. Um, I just, I don't really understand what exactly was happening. You know, no, no matter what I was trying to focus on, I never could quite get that in focus, even if it was like the background. So let me, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. I'm gonna try to zoom in through the viewfinder here and show you what I'm talking about. Because in all other, and I know I did this before, in all other range focus cameras, the ghosting image, it'll, they'll be separated, they'll come together, and there's your focus. But if you go too far, it goes out of focus. I have never had a camera where as you're getting closer to closer to crisp focus, oh, that's about to be, and then it just slingshots backwards the other direction, even though I'm turning the wheel the same way I was. It's the strangest thing. I'm going to try to zoom through here and show you what I'm talking about. So you can kind of see that lamp, and you can kind of see, now I'm not changing the direction I'm rotating the wheel, but suddenly the direction of the ghost image, the echo image, the range finding image suddenly goes backwards the other way as I approached being crisp focus. So I mean, 
talk about a letdown for a camera. I, I just... I thought this was going to be my new go-to because I loved the, the focus. I liked the apertures that it had to work with i thought was really good 2.8 up to 22 that's a nice range and i thought 300th of a second down to bulb it's a good range you know this this could be a, a good what camera to grab oh grab the argus let's go with that one. boy did that not work out the only thing that did work out and this is going to be an episode coming up i think is this shot here I like it. It's not framed well, and the focus is not crisp where I want it to, which is back there. So, but this gave me an idea for a shot. So I'm gonna go reshoot. I never, I've never gone out just to shoot one image, like, and take multiple shots and just a couple different exposures of just one image that I was really, really banking on. I'm gonna do that with this one because I love this shot. I love the way the trees and the canopy, and it kind of just circles the path all the way down. So I'm gonna do an episode where it's, I'm just out for this one. I think I'm going to use the Zeiss icon and go for medium format so I can make it a nice, either a nice size print or just, you know, either way it'll be a high quality image when I, that I get back. But anyway, guys, that's it for the episode. Um, wish I knew. And if anybody else understands what the hell it's doing, feel free to comment. But that's it for this episode. More crazy eBay cameras are coming up. Don't worry. Uh, but I will see you next time. Welcome back 